everybody. All right, so today we're going to do surface area of pyramids. So a pyramid is something that you've seen before, especially in Egypt is probably where you see it the most. But it can also be done in packaging. One of my favorite chocolates comes in a pyramid shape. Anyway, so if we want to find the surface area, just like in other surface areas, the very first thing we have to do is take this three-dimensional figure and be able to lay it flat. It's called a net. So you'll notice this is the base, that's the square, and if you peeled back all of these triangles and laid them flat, that's what it would look like. And then we have to be able to take these numbers and be able to put them in the appropriate spot of our lateral area. All right, so notice where we have our numbers. Since the 12 centimeters is going from the top of the triangle down to the base, and the 7 is going along the side, this is how the numbers would work out. When solving this, let's think about what a lateral area is. A lateral area is just a triangle, and so how do we solve it? We solve it using 1 half base times height, so 1 half base times the height, and the height in this case is called the lateral surface area. So some fancy words, but still, it all goes back to a triangle. Notice when I plug in the numbers, I get 1 half times 7 times 12. A few sound effects there. But uh, when I divide, I end up getting 6, and each lateral area is 42. Now, if one lateral area is 42, I don't have to do the math for the rest. They're all 42. So I can just multiply 4 times 42, which gets me 168, is what the area of the lateral surface areas is. And, of course, the base, which is the rectangle or the square, in this case, is the easy one it's 49. Now if I add those together, I get my final answer, 217 centimeters squared. Get it? All right, so let me have you try one. All right, there are your numbers. And here's your net. Can you plug in the numbers in the appropriate spot? And if so, can you be able to solve this problem? Okay, here are the numbers. Let's see if you can do the solving now. Okay, so for the lateral area, nice uh, simplification, and we end up getting 4 times 5.5, which is 22. Now once you've done that once, nice, right? You just have to multiply it by all four sides, or all four triangles. And then the square is the easy part. Add them together. 118.25 inches squared is the surface area of this pyramid. All right, can we have different kinds of shapes? Sure. Here's a pyramid that's made with a triangle at the base. So let's think about what that net would look like. Okay, so here's what you have to realize. This side of the triangle is 10 meters. meters. And the lateral height is 8 meters. Hope you don't mind me putting it right here. I did color code it for you, but it really wouldn't fit very well right there. And then, of course, the lateral height of my triangles is 14. Once I've got the numbers in the right spot, and that's probably the trickiest part of all, all I have to do is get my lateral areas. In this case, there's only three of them, though. But 1 half, 10 times uh, 14, ends up getting me 70. Now I'm not multiplying by 4, I'm multiplying by 3, because there are only 3 lateral areas. And now, since my base is a triangle, I do 1 half base times height, which gives me 1 half of 80, which is 40. Add those together, and I get a nice 250 inches squared as my answer. Don't be afraid to make mistakes on this. There's lots of steps, and uh, staying organized is going to be key. If you got questions, don't be afraid to ask your parents or your teachers. Have a good day, everybody.